Oh, you know, and, I mean, uh, we get to know each other. Uh, I didn't do well in the last few weeks. Yeah, so I mean, after, because after one of that, I just played three matches. So you know, I needed more matches to prepare for more time. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Also, you know, last time I was here it was five years ago. Yeah, it's a long, long time ago. So I would like to come back to see. You. I do. Oh, I want Lee, what has becoming the, the first Asian-born uh, Grand Slam winner meant to you, and how's it changed your life, and what has it meant to fans in, in your native country as well? I mean, for me, yeah, just dream coming true. And yeah, I mean, of course, after after winning the French Open, life was changed a little bit. <laughs> Not too much because right now, if, I mean, if I was walking the road or something, they know exactly what what is my name and what sport I was good. Not like before, they are 100 percent. And also now, I think like I would be every tournament was more fans to come to say well done, congratulations, and good luck even more. So I was feeling yeah, now I enjoy the this life. What has it done uh, to your confidence as well? What, what? what is winning the French Open? And, uh, just has it done your confidence as well? I mean, it's three months already, so just one tournament. <laughs> now I mean, gunning for a US Open, so I have to ready for a Have you sensed a great deal of pride, though, with other Chinese people, you know, in the sense that you've become the first to win a Grand Slam title? I mean, yeah, I mean, the same day I got a, a lot of text messages from the friend from another player also. I think it's, I'm not sure how big day for all of the China, but for sure it's a big day for, for all the tennis family, you know, because I mean, before we didn't have a lot of good players, but they're still working so hard, so that's why we can have a chance to play high level right now. And then uh, I'll really know it's a full on tournament. You've played I'm some of your best the tennis at the, the Grand Slams. Is, do you, you have, yours? have any reason for yeah. that? Is there any reason why you would play so well at the bigger events, do you think? I mean, you know, I was playing for many years. And Everyone said, oh yeah, yeah, she was good, oh, wow. she had a chance, but after I heard like four or five years, I was feeling like, yeah, maybe you should, they, you should do something, and you know, and also this year I have to change my team a little bit, and how about the prize? Now, I mean, What's the report? before maybe I think Thumbs too much up. about uh, the win or lose, but yours. now it's like, the it's really enjoyed to play on the court. Yeah, I mean, tennis a, uh, is not up. easy, but and if you know, think it's too much, they can't stop it. If only I could have a police escort wherever I want. That's what You've I had so much success on hard in Australia. Actually, is there yes, something different uh, about the surface at the US Open or um, the atmosphere? Nice you, or do you, fe do you feel, do you feel as, as comfortable there? It's, it's I mean, of course, the hardcore value. Every course, every tournament. Much nicer for you. Give her a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Caroline Wozniacki. If you do well in the... Wimbledon, uh, if you do well in the Melbourne, that's me, and if you do well in the US Open, right? So, uh, everyone wants to be guest. there, every top player wants to be there, so of course it's a tough match. Very special. Uh, you know, last year I was first round, so, <laughs> so I, anything besides the I mean, just by like the, round by round. The yeah. prize. Ice cream, anybody have ice cream? Now that you slam, do you feel more pressure going into the US Open? No, I mean... Uh, of course, it's a little bit pressure, but you think it's yeah. you know, so I, I never feel any pressure. I was playing for myself. I didn't play with otherwise or any, anyone. Thank you. Know. <laughs> Um, a, a little obvious question. You you poke fun at your husband at times. Has a, does he ever get mad at you? Yeah, I mean, he always travels with me, so you know, always. I mean, for us, we every day was fighting a lot. That's matter we saw on the court or off the court. You know? Yeah, so I mean, it was good. If he was always traveling with me, I don't, I don't even think, but like missed him a lot, you know. So like half half. Sometimes I really need the every time, but he always traveling with me, so it's tough to to get the private, time. private time. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, before he also a tennis player, so he know exactly what I'm doing. He understand what I, what I'm doing.
Is he with you this week? Yeah, every week. Every week. <laughs> no specials. <laughs> So do you have any kinds of rituals when you go to a, a ma complain a major say, I want to eat this type of food, I want to stay in this place for uh, practice times and stuff like that? No. No? I, mean, I just feel like, okay, if tomorrow I want to have practice early, okay, I'll go early. If, if I feel like, oh, it's, it's too tough to wake up earlier, so maybe I'll be later for practice. Like, just to see how the body feeling first, and then to see how the I feel. Nothing. I'm not like another player. I should do every day the same. Okay. okay.